What's going on? Love Them Knives channel here. We do love them knives. We like these flashlights. I got a cabinet full of flashlights. So obviously I'm a, an enthusiast, but I'm not an expert. I'm just a consumer, but I'm an enthusiast. I think you can be an enthusiast and just a consumer. Because I'm not going to tell you how the... The, the soldering was done on the, you know, circuit board and all that, you know, whatever. I'm not going to talk about articles and this and this and, you know, whatever. So, because I'm just looking at flashlights, you know, do they work well? And uh, do I think they're cool for a re certain reason or, you know, uh, it's a good value, which this one is. Also, it does a lot of things. It's got a couple of emitters and you can read right on the box. You know, there are two Osram P90 emitters, 1100 milliamp lithium battery, okay? And there's the run times with the battery that's in it, which it can be converted to an 18650, which is a bigger battery. This is, you know, you can convert it up to this and you can get this on the Wubin site. You know, it's gonna cost you a little extra, but you can buy that. Uh, but here's your run times. You know, it's going to go on turbo 1800 because you got those two emitters kicking it out. 1800 on turbo 800 uh, for another minute. And then after those two minutes, it goes to 400 lumens at 1.2 hours or 400 lumens at 1.3 hours. You don't do the turbo thing. Medium, 4.5 hours, 60 hours on 5 lumens, etc. And then strobe and SOS, there's no readout for that, but SOS is it. 200 lumens strobe is at 1,000, okay? So, oh no fun, nah, nah, nah. Oh well, nothing more on that. But let's take a look at the actual kit, okay? So I've got this all rigged up, and now I've turned it on because, see, I got this, and now it's off. And now it's on. And now it's off. So you can wave. And then you can you can wave, turn it on. Then you wave again, you turn it off. So, and there's the other wave to turn it off, right? And so you can power it with this. Now, you can get this all in a kit. Get the bit of kit for $49.97. And so you can get it also in a neutral or a cool, okay? Cool white headband and sensor. Cool white headband and sensor. Neutral white or you can get the cool with headband sensor and extender. And the extender is, and here's some information, the extender is to be able to put an 18650 battery in it, okay, if you want. Okay, uh, 65 Kel 6500 Kelvin is the cool, and then 5000 Kelvin is, uh, is the uh, neutral, okay. So, but you can buy these accessories separately if you want. If you just want to buy this, uh, with the headband, they sold out on the neutral for the time being, but the cool white comes with a free headband, and then that's $29. But anything $49 or more is free shipping, so you might want to consider getting the bundle, because then you're going to get this, and the headband, and this little dog here, right? So the remote, and you can pull this little, it comes like that, it just clips onto your headband here, right? And this just kicks in here, like that, right? Okay, and there's your clip, and then there's your little rubber plug thing that you just pop it in here to protect it, which takes a little fiddling to, there you go. You gotta get that like that, but, okay? So, and there's the little uh, cable, which is a short cable, which is good because you only want it to go you know, from the front to the side. So you don't want to have too much cable, right? Unless you prefer to have it all the way behind your head, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But, okay, so there's what comes with this. And it's called, uh, let me see, the inductor, okay? The inductor AP40 pack. You can find it on their thing. And then they give you a little card, like how many waves to turn it on, to go to turbo, to go to... You know, and you can even put it on, uh, you can even put it on a lockout mode. And I think the lockout is uh, one, two, three. No, hold on. There you go. Flashes three times. Now it's locked out. Now you can't, you can't 
you can't turn it on, okay? You, two, three, four. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Was that the, was that the unlock? See, it logged me out good. There he goes, now I'm locked, now, now I'm not locked in. So you can lock it, lock it out. And oh, by the way, I mean, this is kind of interesting. Oh, here's, here's the USB-C that I just unplugged from here, but this is your charge cord, okay? So it's not a USB-A to USB-C. It's a USB-C to USB-C. Now, I've got a lot of, you know, things where I can, you know, I've got power cords or power heads that are USB-C, so that's not a problem for me. So, but you just plug it in here. And then you charge it up, it'll be red while it's charging, and it'll go green when it's all charged up, right? Okay, so you're good with that. But the good thing is, you know, this, you know, stretches, so, I mean, it, it gives you a little bit of distance here, okay? And or not, if you don't need it, that kind of thing. But it does, you can buy this extender, and it's this the extender. This is the extension tube as well for this. So what you can do, and, and let me just show you this, okay? Let's put the plug back on here, which is a little fidgety. Uh, maybe a little harder plastic plug would have been nice, but okay, we're good. And then this is your actuator that turns it on and turns it off, that kind of thing. Um, and then, oh, note, okay, you can adjust the angle when it's in this holder. Now, you can just use this alone if you want and see this little tab here? Okay, you just push it down and then you can get the flashlight to slide right on out. Whoops, we're moving the cradle. Okay, now, see how this little thing pops up and just kind of clicks it into place when you slide it in, okay? And what's interesting, it's got a pocket clip on it. So if you're a security guard or something like that, and you've got a patch in the front of your shirt, you just slide it on that way, facing forward, and just do your thing, right? Okay? So you don't need, or, you know, otherwise as well, and was I going to, well, let me get my Spyderco knife out here. Yes, it's magnetic, so you can put it under the hood of your car if you want to look at this and that, or you you know you got a metal table out uh, in the patio or something like that, or whatever. Stick it on a metal security door and have it that way, you know, wherever. But it's magnetic, okay? And this opens up, but you see you got this pocket clip, so you have a nice pocket clip, and you get a lanyard with it, okay? So this is all in that $49 multi-pack, but not just that. I mean, uh, let me look at, uh, oh yeah, there's your little extra stuff. There's O-rings as well, okay? So, and there's the lanyard. There's the charge cord, okay? These all come in that box, okay? With this flashlight here. Now, Obviously, the headband comes in its own box, okay? This may come with your flashlight if you buy that deal, or if you buy the package, you'll get this. You'll get the flashlight with a lanyard, with a charger and all that, and the headband, and, um, and you'll have to look on that when you do the order, but also you'll get the sensor as well with this little short cord thing, okay? So it goes in there too, okay? So you can do the remote hand actuation. So let's just take a look at this as well. Right here is where you slide it open. Of course, there's where your lanyard goes through right there. But you unscrew this and there's your battery, okay? So here's your Wubin 18350 battery, 1100 milliamp as they were saying. Okay, there's that. Now, I was just showing you the extension tube. So if you want, you can just do the extension tube on top of it. And uh, yeah, so like this. Now, obviously, you need to put your 18650 battery in there. Okay, but I'm just saying, here's what it would look like. And, you know, there was a comment made by another reviewer that was saying, 
you know, this may be something you want to do if you want to use the flashlight on a standalone basis, because I don't know if I'd really want it on the headband with the extra, but you may want to if you want more battery runtime and power that way. Okay. So, I mean, you have options. Okay. Uh, but also, you know, this may be a little easier to to control and to handle if you had this with the with the longer battery in it because it's more like a true you know EDC flashlight as opposed to when you have this all you know in just one little deal. Now let's put this back together and we will go outside and we'll check this out. I mean uh, kind of see what it's like at the 1800 lumen turbo. No longer than it lasts but you know and then kicks down to 800, and then we'll see how bright the 400 and all that is right there. Now, let's bring in the X1, because here's the X09. I mean, the X09 is also very similar, isn't it? And it will fit in this gear, supposedly. I haven't even ever tried it, but I'm going to try it now, and just like this. And yeah, it does. Okay, it fits in. And this will go a thousand lumens here. Well, this is different as the actuation and stuff. It doesn't do 1800, it does a thousand, but there's that. Isn't that interesting that that will do that? So they made it to where it'll fit both ways. And then there's your little buttons here for actuating the action on that and this and that. Okay. But I don't think it'll work with the little remote sensor, okay? I don't think it's set up for that. Uh, and we'll just pop that little dog right out to get you right in the correct position to do that. Okay, I had to look to make sure I had it freed up. Come on, you keep wanting to grab on. Okay, so slides in. And then you got to kind of watch to make sure you're getting free of that. You know what I mean? When you're pulling that out. So this is a little bit more fidgety to get in and out than the E7. Okay. But it does work. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Here we are with this. And so we do have the headband. The headband is very adjustable. And I noticed that I had to really take it up a long way to fit on my head with just nothing no cap or no helmet or anything i think these are capable of fitting over a hard hat like construction type or spelunker you got a helmet on your cave whatever and doing all that so i think that's the whole deal that this because this has got a lot of expandability on it this way and this way you can see okay but this is a hard you know plastic here uh, that holds it this cradle here so that's pretty cool and like i said you know 49 dollars for the package uh it's aluminum it's you know got the drop rating submersion rating all that kind of stuff so there's your emitters obviously you can get it in neutral you can get it in cool and now i'm being redundant so let's go outside and see what she'll do okay wubin e7 just going to hand hold this instead of put it on the band just for brightness levels. And you can see, here we go. Next. Next. Okay. And there's turbo. 1800. Probably not going to hold it too long, but uh, there's back in the jungle. Let's back up. Keep backing up. Hopefully I don't back up over a python or, oh, gopher tortoise. And there we go. So what do you think? That's pretty damn bright, isn't it? For a headlamp or for anything. off 
Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's low. There's low, low. Next. Next. So low. Next, next. There's turbo. And there's uh, your strobe. So what do you think? The little E7. Yeah, it's got some power. I mean, you can go 1800 lumens, not for long. 800, not for long. 400, pretty long time. And 150, that kind of thing for four and a half hours, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, you know, and then of course you can expand this. So you can put an 18650 in it, all that. And of course you get the whole deal in the package thing where you get this, you know, this that can, you know, go turbo. Uh, also you go, um, it's got an SOS mode on here, but on, off, turbo, lockout, you know, low, medium, high, all that, right? So you got six functions there. And then the nice little thing where you can just slide it in. And with the pocket clip intact, which I thought that was pretty cool, just like that. And of course, adjustable. So what do you think, my friends? I got my link below. Yes, I do. It is an affiliate link. So you're helping my channel. Uh, but uh, I got a lot of Wubin products. <sighs> I'll have a video out very soon on the X3 too, the one with both emitters and the one with the UV emitter, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that came out on the Kickstarter program. And of course, you can buy them on Wubin as well. So check them out with the charge box that will also act as a power bank. Okay, so way ass cool. This is, a, I, this is a very cool piece of uh, workmanship here, the way it goes. And of course, wireless charging. How crazy is that, huh? That is great. And of course, forgot to mention this part. Yeah, it does that. It does that. So this is, you know, obviously way cool. And with the readout and everything like that. So I'm going to get out and there's 200, but boom, boom, double tap. Yeah, baby. 1200 lumens. Way cool. Power bank, wireless charging, charge in the power charger area, thing like that. And you can either have it charging or you can, you know, double tap and stop it from charging this unit in here as well. So. We'll talk about that one on another video. Take care, check out Wubin, and stay bright.